Wago on Blue Color from Wago on YouTube. All right, so the um, I think it was what, Friday, yeah, the Friday Gleaner carry an article about consolidated bakery that is purity. All right, a lot of people know the company as purity. I guess purity is a brand of the company. All right, so there was an article on Friday in the financial gleaner about the company and big mounting. I feel it's a good article in that it brings out some of the issues that my always say purity have. You get me? And uh, it also seems like management are really focused on those issues. So I want to is to do a quick overview of purity um, in terms of the stock. Forget an understanding of whether or not the stock is overvalued, undervalued. I don't know, you don't know our style or how we do our thing. It's all about whether or not we can get value for, for the money. You get me, I say? So, I'm going to do a quick, a brief overview of purity. We're going to look through the article. We're going to talk about some of the issues that purity has and management strategy going forward for one know if management strategy can solve. Um, those issues that purity have because we are really searching for value. All right, so Friday last, all right, Friday gone that will be the 12th of April 2024. Purity traded down some 8.2 percent to close at two dollars and one cent. You get me? I say now when we look at um, the chart or the stock chart over time, we see we are. The company peaked out at some two dollars and thirty four cents. That was in November of twenty twenty two. All right, November twenty twenty two. The company peaked out at two dollars and eighty one cents. All right, and then we see where the company fell to a low of one dollar and seventy six cents. You know what I mean? And those trades happen on very thin volume. So purity really not trade a lot. Um, I one of them company there where Muda said um, the market is not really fond of purity, all right? Our consolidated bakery, a lot of people don't talk about it. I think the market is more in love with um, Honeybun, yeah? Yeah, I'm in Hawaii. So, we could just quickly look at what purity is valued, all right? So, as a Friday, purity is valued some 447 million. 447 million dollars yeah almost half a billion dollar um half a billion dollar is that a fair price is it undervalued overvalued who to tell all right it depends on the earnings you get me so make could jump right down to the earnings to see what really i go on with purity now the jamaica stock exchange is showing us earnings um dating back to 2017 you get me? I say no. When we look at 2017 earnings, come right up. Mo Yo, it's almost a lot of times, if not all of the times, Purity was making losses. All right, so from 2017 to 2023, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years. Um, seven times four, so we are talking about 20. Seven times four, that is 28. All right, 28, yeah. So we have about 28 earnings over um over the um the, the 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 seven years. All right. So out of the 28 times the company reported earning, the company make a loss of um let me see how much losses the company make. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen times. All right, so out of 27 times the company report quarterly earnings um, over the last seven years, 15 times um, the company made losses. All right, so we see where the company makes some uh, losses for 2017 for the three quarters of 2017. And now 2023, the company made losses for one quarter. All right, and that's the third quarter. Um, Profit very thin, all right. The highest profit the company ever made was some twenty million dollars, all right, twenty million dollar, and that was the first quarter twenty um twenty twenty three, 
2018, the first quarter, they also make $20 million deso to. Um, so, $20 million, mm, it's not looking good for purity. All right, so it's not looking good for consolidated bakery. The company doesn't pay any dividends. All right, the company doesn't pay any dividends. So, half a million dollars for a company that is making a couple of losses the company whatever time the company is in the black or the company make profit is not a lot of money all right 20 million dollar not bad not bad all right so what it is the company have but i always think like purity consolidated beauty is that they are focusing mostly on commodity products all right, so the company sell bread and a couple of things, and I always tell people that bread is like a commodity product. All right, what, what um in that the company can't really charge a high price of bread. All right, so the price where them are going to charge for the bread is a price where them have to go take from the market. In that, them have to watch what the market are sell bread for, and it's kind of base their price off of that. You get me? I say so. Here, the headline has a purity product mix to undergo changes. So management wants to change the product mix. In that management wants to stop focus on selling bread and start focus on selling other snacks. All right, them have a name for that. We not even know a single single serve snacks or something like that. Um, which I think is a good thing. Which I think I tackle one of the issues that, that the company has. All right, so coming out of I'm moving away from selling commodity products to start selling um, products that them can really charge a higher price for. You get me? Um, thinking about that, I think like Unibon, that's what Unibon does. All right, so Unibon kind of sells some like a snack something and then they are able to charge premium price for those because it kind of have the Unibon flavor and they are able to sell you something. You know what I mean? Because they can't really compare the Unibun. For instance, I like the Unibun Donut. And the Unibun Donut sell at premium price. But guess what? I'm willing to pay the premium price and the Unibun Donut is very small compared to other donuts. So it's very expensive. It, it, um, it costs more and it's very small and it's smaller. However, I only buy Unibun Donut. Why? Because I like how it tastes, I like the flavor. And the thing, it's a, it's a premium product here. So I feel like me I get quality when I buy a Unibun Donut. You get me I say? So even though it's a big product, which is hard to differentiate, right? Bake, baking products are very hard to differentiate from other baking products. It's almost like they're the same thing, though. No. However, um, those types of products, um, those snacks, you can really sell the market. You get me? You can really sell the market something like sell them an idea. Say your snacks is better than the other um, company snacks. All right. But as it relates to bread, plain old bread, we are just some flour, wheat, and uh, sugar, whatever them put in like a uh, baking powder to make it. You can't really convince anybody to pay a premium price of bread. You know what I mean? So, as with the article, I said, management, I said, them are going to shift away from just selling bread or stop making bread the main thing about the company and start focus on other snacks all right so that is a good thing as well as i said the bread is more price sensitive all right bread is far more price sensitive well all right yeah let me try to get it still the company is attuned to market preferences and says it remains focused on providing value for consumers searching for cheaper prices but also those are looking for healthier uh, more sophisticated offering and there's some more I read not talk about that so them have a market where them have to them have to deal with the market have to understand the market no them must say the market want cheaper but healthier um, as it relates to baking product can you really get healthy um, products does the baking industry deal with healthy products all right so them said the market want that so what 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 we will see happening over the near future is these baking companies 
start producing more healthier products. And I mean, kind of cut down on the sugar and all these things. You know what the big thing about sugar, what people always say sugar unhealthy. So a lot of people are shift from the sugar. So there's a shift in the market, um, in market preference. All right. So consolidated bakery purity is well aware of that. All right. So over time, you might see them shift away from that. However, what more I want to talk about is that um, in five years from now, you won't see the same portfolio of products offering all right by the company management some more change the entire thing which seems to be a good thing for the company all right so hinting that the company will continue shifting towards snacks which earns higher margins than bread and um, the latter often often seen as the most price sensitive product with the thinnest margins all right, so as I said, bread is very price sensitive. What I really mean is that if you increase the bread, people stop by it. You know what I mean? It's very price sensitive. So they really can't charge a premium price of bread. As I always tell people, a lot of people don't agree with me, bread is a commodity product. You get me, I say, you can't charge a high price of bread. People will simply buy some other bread from some other people or some other company. I mean, they will buy the cheaper bread. All right. But here, they must say, bread, really thin margin. No margin are really depend on bread. You get me, I say, um, gross profit margin for purity is 39%. But when I talk about the net profit margin, a 1% you're talking about. Yo, this margin is even thinner than Fesco. You know, we always talk about Fesco margin, which is about 2.5%. Here, the mass of purity has one, a 1% 1 margin. You get me? I say, so what that mean? If they make $100 million, only $1 million are going to drop down to net profit. This is really, 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 really bad. Now, the reason for this is simply because the, the product where I emphasize, which was selling bread, different bread, different size bread and all these things, those are very thin margins. All right, so management are trying to change all of that by changing the product mix. All right, so management will start do some different products, um, products where they can charge higher margins. So over time, we are looking for say, purity margins increase. All right, management are talking about a five years um time which may take too long you know and i mean so we're going to look out for the different products that purity will be putting out in um to the market or in the market um we want to look for see how the market uh accept those products whether or not the market or accept them uh and the types of product we want to look for see innovation in the types of products that them put out you get me i say only bun i go on good only bun hit the market um, focusing on those types of products from early on. So Onibon not do the commodity type of thing. Onibon kind of put a twist to the product offering that they have. All right. And as a result of that, they are able to charge a higher margin. So if you compare Honeybun's margin to that of purity, a total different story. You get me, I say? No. Something that I bring to your attention about purity. During the year, the company spent $106 million on a new delivery vehicle and technical equipment for the factory of Red Hills Road and took out a $160 million loan to finance its operation. Um, so when I look at purity, we're talking about administrative costs. Administrative costs high. Now the company management is adding debt to that cost, which might also be another problem going forward so even though management say all right we're going to start sell some product to get higher margin here we see where management is adding more debt to the company which might even take away from the margins the extra money where they look to get um management had in delivery trucks i don't know if them did one go to some i think them need to start out the margin thing start out the product the product mix before adding to delivery trucks and all these things. I think delivery is an issue or is the problem that they have. You know what I mean? But here, management is spending money on delivery, um, delivery trucks. They talk about equipment. Yeah, they all need new equipment in order to make these new um, products going forward. So that is needed. 
Um, I don't know about the delivery thing. I wish them never to spend money on delivery. I just all of that. You get me? I focus on just the equipment to deal with the new types of products. But yeah, um, based on that, I can say, yeah, Purity has a management problem. I don't believe that. But I always think that. But here, management, I think management is on the right track in that management to change the product mix and uh, look how the thing uh, happened from there. So, all right. So, even though bread price increased some 69% since 2020, you get me, I say, during the pandemic. You remember when the pandemic happened, people are run to buy bread at all of the supermarket, them bread sell out and all these things. As a result of that bread price, it increased. Bread price increase from six to nine percent themselves, but here purity now really benefit from that. Yes, revenue increase also for purity, but revenue went up just seven percent. Um, I mean, eleven percent. All right, when compared that to some fifty percent, sixty nine percent increase in bread. Yeah, um, I mean bread price. So, um, purity have work for them. You know what I mean? Now, would I buy Purity at half a million dollar? Uh, nah, I'm not thinking would I buy Purity at half a million dollar. I swear, half a billion dollar, I should say. Purity, mother, 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 mother um, for me, is a wait and see attitude mother apply right now. Mother just wait to see how how well management are execute the new strategy. As I said, I don't know if the market are going to take on to these new products that they will try to push to the market. I don't want to get a feel of that first to see if management know exactly what management is doing. As we have said, the market preference, the market prefer no healthier products. All right, so I don't want to see them come out with products that are a bit more healthier than the normal snacks where we know we have, where have a lot of sugar contain a lot of sugar and all these things so make we wait and say we well, really go for purity at two dollar i mean the stock is selling at half a billion dollar overall um yeah 20 20 million dollar in profit and that not come consistent so Purity profit is not consistent for me, and as a result of that, my own touch purity with a long stick. So, me a wait and see to see how well management can execute this plan going forward. Like the video, share the video, drop a comment, and make a chat about it. I don't know how we do it over here, you know. Me chat to you, mad thing.